Sure, I'm Nina Varon, and I'm with Supporting Families with Kulin DeVries. Some of the features that most everyone with Kulin DeVries would have is similar facial features, uh, very very pale skin, a lot of times it's orange hair, <laughs> red hair, um, then they end up with developmental disabilities, with communication disabilities, and then a host of um, physical issues, health issues, and some of them are heart defects. Epilepsy is very common in 50% of the um, patients. They develop epilepsy by age five. Also melanoma seems to be very prevalent in these children. And um, yeah, urological issues, teeth issues, feet issues. Well, I can only speak to my grandson. That's really my only my ex my only experience is my grandson Malcolm, who's four. And in the beginning, um, because his immune system was compromised, he was sick all the time. And so, I would say for parents of children with KDVS, it's a, it's a big struggle for the first few years because they're just getting every single bug that is out there and then get it again and then get it again and pass it to their family. So it's a huge struggle. Um, my grandson's had 11 surgeries in his four years. And of course, that's very compromising for the family um, in terms of just, just ever getting ahead. Um, it's very wearing. Um, but on the other hand, the projections that um, my grandson Malcolm was given at birth by Mayo Clinic who diagnosed him um, were really dire. They said he would not walk, he would not be able to see much, and he wouldn't be able to hear, all of which he is uh, doing. He's running, <laughs> climbing, singing songs. Uh, he, he's got a very delightful, sunny personality. So. Um, you know, that's the shining light is that he's beaten the projections and he's also a very happy child.